In this second video of this two-part video series, we're going to look at how to use quick actions, how to handle those actions that you repeat over and over on different occasions, and to just make it easier for you. We look at the following functions, how to insert a quick part, templates, quick steps, you know, like a quick reply, signature, poll, and the quick access to wall. Let's get going. Now the quick part is quite a useful little function. It's for those few lines of text that you would like to insert into an email. So let me show you how. Now open in front of me is a brand new fresh email and I'm on my way to type away and I realized that this is a response that I type over and over. So in this case you can just insert a quick part. So go to the insert tab, go to quick parts and you click insert. And there you go. You can finish it off and you are good to send. Now, let me show you how you create this quick part. So the next time you've typed your full email and you realize that, listen, you've typed this text, piece of text over and over and over. Highlight the piece that you would like to turn into a quick part. Go to insert quick parts. Save selection in quick parts gallery. Give it a name, whatever name you want to give it. Have a look at these options. But the basics is just to save it. And there you go. It will be saved under your quick parts. So this is a quick and easy way just to be a bit more effective, time efficient. Now, very similar to inserting a quick part, you can also insert a template. Let me show you how. So open in front of me is my demo email. Let's say I'm ready to construct this the contents of the email. Go to your message tab, view templates. And there I have a whole bunch of templates which I've already created. Let's say this was an application from a postgraduate student and there I have the entire template inserted. So it works very much the same way as insert um, quick parts. Um, and I think it is works well for a bit of a longer email. So you can try that as well. Another way to handle repeat actions is to use a quick step and to set up a quick reply using the quick step. Now open in front of me is my inbox and here are my demo emails that I've sent to myself for the purposes of this, a demonstration in this video. Now here you can see under the home tab, you have got your quick steps. Open it up by clicking on the little arrow in the right hand side corner and create new. Let's say custom. And let's say this is a quick step where I refer a, a certain task to a, our postgraduate administrator. Now, immediately as the email comes in, I want to create a reply. Let's rather say reply to all in case there's more people in the, in the um, email. I want to leave the subject of this, the subject that was in. Let's say I want to include um, my secretary, my postgraduate administrator, I can flag the email, I can create importance, and then I can state, dear Benita, let's say this is my secretary's name, um, please see email below. And you can even add an action, another action, what happens to the email afterwards, maybe you want to send it to a folder, Let's say we want to send it to a folder and the folder's name is our postgraduate students. Okay, perfect. You can even create a shortcut for this, but that's now getting advanced. No worries. Let's finish and let's see if it works. Okay. Now I've, I see this email coming in. I can read it here in the reading pane. 
and I immediately click on my quick step, which says admin. Admin immediately CCs everyone in. I can just move the right people down to the CC box and I can click send. As soon as I click send, this email will end up in the it will send and it will end up in my postgraduate students folder, which is here. And this is just a quick way. Let's take the next one. And again, you can have your quick response and you send. Now, this is again for those type of emails where you uh, take the same action over and over and again, and it just automates things a little bit so that things go quicker. So enjoy. Let's look at the next function. Another way to avoid unnecessary time wasting is to use the signature function a bit more effectively. Now open in front of me is a brand new email. Let's say I've typed away and I'm now ready to insert my signature. Now many of you will have already the, have the signature set up and you can um, create settings so that as soon as you write a new email your signature is included already or if you reply to an email it may or may not be included. For demonstration purposes I'm going to show you how to include it manually just to show you how you can use different signatures. Now let's say you have your standard signature which has got your full pedigree but in your capacity as let's say the faculty or your school's research day coordinator or um, chair of the organizing committee you want to just for the next few months have a signature that you're going to use just when you communicate with regards to matters around this the organization of this specific research day and you don't want to retype your the signature over and over again so then you can set up a specific signature that just display in which capacity you are communicating with the people so at the moment let's say you're chair of the organizing committee and you just insert this so it will just avoid you having to type the signature over and over again every time you communicate on matters related to the research day organization now to set this up you'll go to signatures in the insert tab and then you can create a new signature let's say this one is for research center and here you can type away create your signature you can also insert an image and here's a few settings that you want it to be added to new messages to replies so it creates an, a signature if you realize that you are typing the same thing over and over this may be a good solution to avoid those extra time wasters now the next function which is quite nice to use is to create a poll now say you want to get the feeling from your colleagues whether they want a full day staff workshop or want to have it broken up into two afternoons set up a quick poll and get their opinions that is it's much easier to do than to handle 15 14 20 responses in separate emails from your colleagues so open in front of me is a brand new email and I would like to insert a poll go to the insert tab poll and here you can create your poll let's say would you like for the staff like for the staff workshop to be my question let's say one full day is the one option two afternoons the next option and let's add an option to mornings let's say they can choose multiple answers go to next state add to email and there you go your poll has been added now you're ready to send and you can easily just go back when you click here you'll be able to see the results much easier than having to collate so many different and separate emails another quick little tip to get some quick actions done is to use the quick access toolbar to your benefit now here you will see this is your quick access toolbar right here now if there are in your ribbon if there are certain functions that you use quite often 
For example, let's say you move things to folders quite often. You can say add to quick access toolbar, which will mean they will end up there. And let's say we also use categorize quite often. And there may be other you know, functions that you use quite often, which you would like to add to your quick access toolbar. But now here, as it sits here, it's quite removed from where your mouse point is around here. So click on that quick access toolbar and ask it to please present itself below the ribbon. So now it's sitting here, which is quite quick and easy to you know, fulfill these actions right close to where your mouse pointer is functioning anyway. You now know how to handle those repeated actions more effectively using some very useful functions inside Outlook. Now I would like to know from you, which Outlook functions are you using to make your life easier and to be more productive? Please share your thoughts and share what you are using in the comment box below this video and help other listeners and subscribers to this channel to function more effectively as well. Enjoy. If you found this video helpful, smash the like button. For more useful tips to boost your research experience, subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button below this video. And while you're at it, hit the bell so that you get notified whenever I produce a new video. If you need a solution to a challenge not yet covered on my channel, leave a comment in the box below. See you in the next video.